Hello everyone, my name is Manuel Gungulu. The woman in the slide is named Katia. I met Katia three years ago when I was working in a township, and somehow I needed to use the toilet. So I went to her house to ask for it, and she said, no, we don't have a toilet here. So I said, how come? How is that possible that people don't have a toilet in the house? So I made the research, and I found out that over 40 people die every day due to water and sanitation-related issues. And that's one of the reasons that we created Sustamati. And what we do is we sell toilets for NGOs that are working on sanitation, for companies, to their employees, but our products are specially designed to sell to the low-income families in Mozambique. And let me explain you why. Mozambique is in the list of the poorest countries of the world, and the sanitation coverage is only 24%. So that means that there is 22 million people lacking on proper sanitation facilities. And there are 36% of the population who still practice open defecation. So when people think about having a toilet, they think about the cost of installing a toilet, which is from three to five minimum salaries, the cost of flushing the toilet, which is from two to 10 liters of water, if you use the porcelain toilet, plus the cost of flushing the toilet which, although it might happen only every three or five years, but it costs you one minimum salary. So with all those costs, having a toilet becomes too expensive to a low-income family, just like Katia's. That's why I went to the market to understand what were the solutions available. And we found two solutions. The first one is the pit latrine, which is resistant and dry, but it fills up easily, so space becomes a problem. And although it's the most recommended position, People do not really like to be squatting when using a toilet. The other solution we found is the porcelain toilet, which has a good design, it's comfortable, but it uses a lot of water to flush it, and just to buy the toilet seat, it costs you one minimum salary. So it's not affordable for a low-income family. So we brought to the market this toilet that brings the best of the two worlds. It's resistant, it's comfortable, it's colorful, and it, it costs you only 20% of a minimum salary, and it uses only one cup of water to flush it. Isn't it fantastic? Yeah. yeah. So that's why we call it Pia Fantastica. In English, in English, fantastic toilet. So the fantastic toilet comes in different colors and variations, and we're now researching the use of black soldier fly larvae, which inoculated in the pit, it can eat the human feces and reduce the need of emptying uh, that the normal toilets would need. We went to the market again to understand what people have in mind when they, when they are going to decide which toilet to buy. And we understood that people want to have a toilet that's comfortable and have a good design. So those are the key insights that we had in mind when designing Pia Fantastica. Going to our financials, using our full capacity, we can make a profit of 25,000 euros, selling 4,000 units and using only 0.2% of the market share. So that means that we have a huge capacity to grow. If all those 22 million people lacking on proper sanitation facilities start using our solution, that will mean a reduction on 98% of water used to flush toilets. Plus, we're going to have an impact on reduction of poverty, allowing people to have access to sanitation, and having an impact on climate. Our team has a different background. Myself, I'm an environment scientist and we have backgrounds on marketing, financials, and, pro and production management, and we all want to, have to bring even more and more affordable products to the sanitation market. We want to take the sanitation coverage from 24% that is now to at least 50% in the next five years, and we want to have a positive impact into women's life, including them in our production and distribution chain. To close my pitch, I'd like to show you the picture of Katya again, which is the woman in the skirt, with, with our team, which was one of the first people that came to our workshop and bought our solution, and it's helping, to grow, it's helping us to grow. So I'd like to leave the invite for you to help us to grow. Thank you.